This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a lock that's been on the market for about five years, but only recently appeared on the shelf at my local Home Depot. It's the Brinks Model 673 Resettable Combination Padlock. The design of this lock is fairly unique. The lock body is a zinc clamshell. The code wheels are hidden under a door, and they rotate around the long axis of the lock. And on the back is a door concealing the switch that lets you change the combination. Notably, neither the switch nor the door will operate unless the correct combination is dialed in. It's currently all zeros, so to open this up, I press the buttons on either side of the shackle. Now, the most common approach to decoding locks like this would be to insert a shim along the side of the code wheel and feel for a flat spot or notch. But in this case, Brinks kept the gaps tight, making that approach fairly difficult. That would be commendable had Brinks not left a literal hole in its security the hole right here. I can reach through that hole with a small wire hook, I bent this one up in just a few seconds, and grab the edge of a plate that runs the entire length of the mechanism. If I pull that plate toward the face of the lock, it binds against the code wheels, allowing me to decode this in seconds. I just turn the wheels until I feel the loose spot in the wheels rotation. So let me show you how easy that is, but first we need to change the combination to something I don't know. I am scrambling the wheels while the lock is facing away from me. Okay, now the hardest part of changing this combination is making sure each code wheel is in a notch, otherwise the switch will not go back. There we go, I think I've got it. So let's scramble those wheels again, and I now have a lock to which I do not know the combination. So to open this up, the first thing I need to do is grab the edge of that plate, give it a nice sharp tug, and then I'm going to rotate the wheels until I feel a loose spot. Okay, 8734 I believe is the combination. So. As you saw, this method allows for decoding with very little skill, and it's nearly as fast as it would take an authorized user to dial the combination. As such, I do not think this is a lock that can be relied upon for securing anything important. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.